Mary Cassatt is a household name to American art history. However, her prolific artistic works are only one detail out of her extraordinary life. Known as the painter of children and mothers, Cassatt blended techniques from European Impressionists and Japanese printmakers to capture the realistic likeness of women around her. Extremely critical of the exclusion of women to her field, her portraits were one way that Cassatt felt she could restore women's representation in fine art. Cassatt was born in 1844 in what is now Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to an aristocratic family. Her father was an accomplished land speculator and both of her parents come from banking families. Living during the early rise of the women's suffrage movement and possessing the income to support her, an equal right to an education for young women was a belief encouraged by her parents. Cassatt received private liberal tutelage in Pennsylvania and while traveling across Europe with her family. Her interests in the fine arts were piqued in Europe, where she learned some of the romantic languages and began painting lessons. Her parents were pleased with her progress towards a refined education, both for her well-being and as an attractive marriage prospect, but a young Mary objected to this. Upon expressing her desire to pursue the arts professionally, her father informed her that he would rather see her dead. She did not let this discourage her, though, and at the age of 15, Cassatt enrolled in the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. At the Academy, Mary studied alongside another soon-to-be-famous artist by the name of Thomas Eakins. She tired of the school after four years, though, later saying that there was no teaching at the Academy due to its exclusionary view towards women students. It was at this time that she decided to study independently in Europe, moving to Paris with her mother. While she practiced her art, Cassatt also engaged in political campaigns supporting equal travel scholarships for women students. Upon her first many attempts to submit her work to the French Salon of Fine Arts, Mary's attempts were invariably rejected until 1872. Her painting Two Women Throwing Flowers During Carnival had not only been accepted, but purchased through the Salon. Any subsequent snubs from the Salon were outspokenly regarded by Cassatt as influenced by her gender. Frustrated by criticism of her work as too divergent from the male-dominated mainstream, Cassatt was offered refuge among the European Impressionists by her primary inspiration, Edgar Degas. Cassatt's friendship with Degas allowed her to become unburdened by the taste of the Salon and left her free to pursue her craft as she pleased. Mirroring her trailblazing lifestyle, much of Cassatt's work is based on her perspective of the new woman, or the ideal of the modern 19th century woman that pushed the limits of society's expectations for femininity. She vocally resented the idea that in order for women to be included in mainstream art, that they must exist solely for aesthetic beauty. In fact, in an argument with Degas on this topic, Cassatt accused Degas of not defying the mainstream salon with his belief that only beautiful female subjects are considered art, and so she set out to make, in her words, a beautiful painting of an ugly girl. The result, a study called The Coiffure, was so beautiful that Degas conceded the argument and cherished the painting his entire life. Other notable works that faced the same backlash include her famous Little Girl in a Blue Armchair. Critics were scandalized by the child's gangling limbs splayed unbecomingly across the furniture, and yet this intimate look at a young girl behaving so humanly and vulnerably was what made the painting so beautiful. This was not staged stoic portraiture as viewers knew it. It was portraiture of a whole sentimental human as they were. Cassatt went on to support more explicit feminist causes throughout her career, including an exhibition arguing for equal suffrage, education, and work opportunities to women in 1918. One panel, entitled Young Women Plucking the Fruits of Knowledge, depicts modern women as imagined by Cassatt. Her dedication to seeing women equally and realistically represented in fine art mirrors her similar dedication to gender equality as a whole. Her efforts to advance the possibility of closing the gap between gender equality and her field are unparalleled by any of her Impressionist counterparts. This establishes her as the deserving honoree of the International Honor Quilt, as well as the recipient of her title as one of the most influential American painters in history.